Are you worried that you have nothing to wear for Valentine's Day or that you're not going to look good on that special day? Well, whether you're going out on a date with your special someone or if you're going out with friends or simply if you're going out by yourself, you definitely can dress up really awesome on this special day. And I have a lot of choices to share with you. Let's hang out. How are you? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Jackie D. I'm so happy to meet you. Thank you for finding me. If you're a return subscriber or a return viewer, I really appreciate your support. My goal is to help you build your self-esteem, whether it's fashion, skincare, mental health, exercise, living healthy, feeling good, dressing up, makeup even, especially for older women. I'm 62 years old and I'm turning 63 in August. Oh my God, time is so fast but I tell you I never loved aging until the past three or four years and that's why I love creating content for my channel because I love sharing with you the positivity that we can get as we get older okay so Valentine's Day we start with color because definitely red speaks of Valentine's Day so it's still the top choice when it comes to color and if you want to be a little bit more subtle we go pink of course there are many shades of pink we have sweet baby pink, we have hot pink, fuchsia, we have a little bit of an old rose kind of pink, very subtle. So, so many ways for you to actually wear pink and be in tune with Valentine's Day. And of course, the favorite, black or white. So, I'm going to show you a few of my clothes from my closet because we can definitely put our clothes and accessories together, mix and match, and then we look brand new. If you find this episode helpful and exciting and you're curious, don't forget to hit the like button, comment and share, and let me know if you're getting ready for Valentine's Day. Let me know your favorite colors or clothes for Valentine's Day. The secret is you don't even have to buy stuff. You don't have to buy clothes or accessories for Valentine's Day. They're just right in your closet. There's a bit more challenge for those who live in cold countries like I do. This is Vancouver. And so you can't really go out in strapless gowns or dresses because of the cold season. It's February. It's peak of winter. But because you wear clothes on top of it, and when you're inside the venue, usually it's warmer, then you can wear something underneath those thick layers. As you can tell, I'm wearing red because red is the typical color for Valentine's Day but there are many ways by which you can wear your clothes if you're not going to a hotel or an event or even dance then you can definitely be casual but still very Valentine so I'm wearing this top on top of jeans and this is a really really old top but see I'm in theme because it's red as for accessories it really depends on the total ensemble you're creating this is very casual so accessories that will go with this will be very subtle and dainty accessories there you go single pearl to match the casual appearance of this top well, you can tell in this episode that I'm going to dress up a little bit all throughout the episode. So, sorry if I have to be dressing up every time till you'll see me pop up in a different outfit or a different theme. So, this one speaks of some simple elegance. You can have your favorite dangling earrings or you can have simple rhinestones or simple gold earrings. So, yes, you can definitely wear a nice little red dress if you have one. When you're wearing red, you can wear red shoes or you can wear nude heels, always. Because when you're wearing red dress, especially if you're not very tall, like I'm only five, one and a half, wearing nude heels makes me feel a little taller. It makes me look a little taller because my legs are a little bit longer. The colors match all the way to the toes. Ta-da! <laughs> Okay, it's the same red dress, but this time I just put my hair up and then we want to be a little bit more elegant. And so I'm just having this little dainty, this is fancy. And of course, with this added shawl, it makes it just a little bit more elegant. What a difference a shawl makes. If you put on the right accessory, it makes such a huge difference to what you're wearing. And of course, this one, which I think is what I will wear for Valentine's Day. As you can tell, it's a little bit sexy. It's a little bit more 
special because you don't wear this kind of attire every day especially with the back showing but yeah this is more appropriate as a valentine's special day the thing is when we're older we're more choosy about our clothes like i would not wear something like this except because it's valentine's day otherwise i feel that it's a little bit too revealing like this it's not so but once you turn around <laughs> so yeah just just from my closet i bought this i think two years ago and i never really wore it i only wore it on social media because i had to try it <laughs> but otherwise i've never really worn this outside so it's about time and so we're just gonna do a quick rundown of what will best suit you for valentine's day these guidelines are just my own guidelines that i'm sharing with you you can definitely ask others or of course i believe and i trust in your judgment however way you feel good however way you look good however makes you feel confident about yourself that's how you should dress up for valentine's day so number one we had the elegant classy simple lines second you have smooth and classic like the red one that we wore with a touch of accessory third you want to look a little bit hot but appropriate and make sure you don't look too revealing always in the right place next sweet and romantic when i think of sweet and romantic i don't think of red i think of pink pink happens to be my favorite color and so if i wear it on valentine's day it's for me it's just like an ordinary day a typical day for me so i have to wear red on valentine's day but if you're not fond of pink and you don't want to wear red Pink is definitely something that you might want to give it a try. For me, pink speaks of sweetness, of subtlety, of romance, of budding romance, you know, of light fluffy dreams, you know, very, very sweet, very, very feminine. Which brings us to the fourth one, wear something really feminine, like florals, you know, flowing soft fabric. Pink and florals are the perfect match if you want to spell femininity all over you. You can mix match like this one that I'm showing you. This is actually a top and skirt that my youngest daughter handed to me. So it's hand me up. I really love it. But see how I changed it. I'm not wearing the skirt, but I put it on top. And so I have a beautiful top. Don't forget to hit the like button if you're liking this episode so far. If you're finding my tips a little bit useful. So go grab your clothes, open your closet, and find your old clothes. Because you definitely will find one or two in there. Mix match tops and bottoms. Find the right shoes. And you are ready for your hot date. Another style of clothing that brings out the feminine in you is wearing off-shoulder clothing. I love off-shoulder clothing, off-shoulder clothing or one-strapped dresses or maybe tube tops, you know, as long as they are very appropriate for you. For me, it's the main keyword. You can have a beautiful dress, a really extravagant, fabulous dress or really flowing and classy, but it has to be appropriate, appropriate on you and appropriate for the event. That's what spells success in dressing up because you are dressed to the nines, but you are dressed properly for the event and occasion. And of course, as I showed earlier, the casual, but still relevant, a red tank top, a red sweater, on top of jeans, on top of slacks, then that still is very, very valentine -y, but you're very comfortable. So casual and comfortable, they sometimes come together, right? Because you can move around, you can face people and not feel awkward, but you can do some rough things and maybe run if you have to and still be comfortable. Those are my general tips for Valentine's Day. Embrace the day. That's the main goal. Feel your power as a woman. Feel the beauty in you. 
coming from inside and out because beauty inside is what's contagious it's the one that drives people to you it's the magnet that's hidden in you that attracts other people to listen to you to watch you talk or just simply want to be with you it's not about being self-centered or being narcissistic or feeling like you're the best no it's knowing that you're bringing something positive to the table or simply spreading light and positivity around you. That's the goal. And that's what keeps people remembering you or even coming back to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really post a lot of tips based on my experience, my actual life story, things that I learned, and then I apply them and then I share what happened. <laughs> so things like that, so that you don't have to go through risks that I go through or that you don't have to spend unnecessary money because you bought the wrong thing. But of course, products, styles, themes, they're not a one solution for all we have so many things to factor in our age like i'm 62 years old our height our the theme the place where we go to the total projection we want to make right as long as what you're wearing speaks of your personality your clothes are an extension of your personality you know when you walk through they see you they go like that's jackie they're not like <gasps> Are you okay? Are you sick? No. So, you have to be always you, regardless of the variety of clothes that you wear. So, I wish you a happy Valentine's Day. You can spend it the day before or day after, who knows, or maybe on the day. I remember when my husband and I were dating when we were boyfriend, girlfriend, and we wanted to go out for Valentine's Day, but we didn't make any reservations. Back in the day, reservations were not really a thing. We couldn't find a restaurant. We had to eat outside by the curb and under the patio and we ate um i think pizza <laughs> that was our first valentine's day but see i'm happily married to the man i dated from university and we are celebrating our 40 years next year can you believe that we're celebrating 39 years of our wedding this march so love lasts if you both hang on to it respect each other love each other and always look at the good things about each other nothing is perfect marriages relationships they're not perfect we're not perfect but we always try our best to keep our relationships good and strong don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms instagram at the real d tiktok at the real d and my Facebook page, Building Self-Esteem on Social Media, where I am going to launch my spotlight feature, featuring women who have beautiful stories to share, who can inspire others, whether it's through self-esteem, healthy living, eating healthy, fashion, anything that has made you the better person that you are. I want to provide a platform for you to share your story. So I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you in my next video. You take care. Have a hot, nice, romantic, casual, elegant, classy, memorable Valentine's Day. Bye for now. Bye.